Greetings and welcome to In-Depth, I'm DK Rostar. Now, soca, like many things, can have its fair share of bandwagoners. This style trending, this topic saying things, so let me try to ride that wave. Now, this artist performing out of Kaiso Showcase this season is a breath of fresh air in that respect. And we go in-depth on a musical journey with Kerry John. And even before we start to talk about the music, Mr. John, I want to go back in terms of what are some of the things that you look back on and say, these are the things that would have shaped me as Kerry John? Well, I would say the early stage of um, my, my career, you know, my childhood, I would have been in competitions such as Junior Snooka Monarch. This definitely shaped who Kerry John is today. You know, it was the first time I was able to go on a big stage and perform for my school, represent for my school, which was Princess Town Junior second time. And you know, I had my 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 colleagues there, my my um my school friends, everybody, and that was our vibes. And after that, I went into the song stage, which was our next competition again by the National Library, and then the Digital Rising Star. And of course, I can't forget Synergy Soka Star, the very first one. I was there as well. So this is this stuff that shaped me and make me the person I am in music. And one of the reasons I ask is because it feels as though the stuff that you talk about, the things that you deal with, they're just kind of different. Yes, you have a vibe. Yes, you're able to say, okay, well, we could build a hype off of it. But at the same time, it's different. But what, what, what are some of those things that you look for when you're getting ready to approach a project in terms of like your process towards putting out a musical contribution? Well, I look for the, 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 the collaborative effort between me and the producer because before we sit down to vibe, we must have that connection and that understanding before we go further because we don't want to reach into our project and then it then come out or then, you know, it's having some kind of technical difficulties or whatever. So the first thing is the chemistry between me and the producer. We sit down, we vibe together, we vision the song, what we want for the song, how the video had to go, where the song, where we want the song to go. You know, so we, we fantasize in our head a little bit and then we bring it to life. And as we go along the way with it, you know, it, that is just a journey by itself because sometimes things that wasn't in plan, spontaneously, you just put it in, you catch our vibes, you might change our line, a new melody might come, you know, and then there's a back and forth thing at it too. So the widest look for when I do in a production is most important, the vibes from the producer and the open-minded from the producer to be open-minded to work and do music, you know, nobody and bigger than nobody, music bigger than us. So we always keep our open mind to improve. Even though if we think that we might have it, and yes, this is perfect, we always look for the force in it to make sure that it's perfect. Definitely, and one, from the time you think, I think from the time you reach, or the time you say that I reach, that's where things are starting to happen a little differently. But anybody ever tell you you have a kind of throwback energy, or old soul kind of vibe? Yeah, people tell me, you know, a couple of people tell me because the music I sing, you know, my style, you know, and then Kerry John is an artist who grew up listening to a lot of the greats, you know, the, the Black Style and God Rest His Soul, the Kitchener, the Bob Marley, you know, the Burning Spears, the Destra Gas, yeah. So I listen to a lot of the artists who paved the way for me and Whenever I have to catch inspiration, these is more the artists you catch me listening to. The Michael Jackson, you check what I'm showing you, the greats. Mm. These are the foundations. So they totally give me inspiration to bring forth futuristic music in a sense. And in that so futuristic I'm music. With the, with the new. And, huh? and talk, to, talk about your style a little bit. How do, how do you define that? Or do you define your style? When, some, when somebody hearing, what are some of the things that you say will define your sound? Well, uh, my voice, you know, it have certain songs I will sing like reggae. Reggae people hear a total different side of Kerry John. And sometimes, often people tell me, I feel reggae is the real music for you to do. But I just love music on the whole. So when coming to choosing a genre of music to hold on to alone, it's very hard for me because sometimes I catch a reggae vibes. And sometimes I catch a soca vibes. So I just go with my moods. 
You know, I, I just tell people I'm not a soca artist, I'm not a reggae artist, I'm a musician. I do music. So according to the time, place, and vibe, that is how I channel myself and I run through that circuit there. Just flex the suit. Now, I see you're wearing your merchandise, so tell me a little bit about KJV, the band, please, because the full experience, because <laughs> just, I think, it's 2020, you all were in that, in, in that brass competition as well, and normally... Correct, is right. When you see brass and people involving themselves in that, like that, they have a certain, not necessarily age, but at the same time, you don't necessarily see the younger ones too much. So, KJV, right. the, the band, tell me a little bit about it. Right, so KJV the band was into existence 2019. We went on the big stage, we entered the brass, and we qualified for the finals alongside many other bands like the Fire Service, Holy Service, Army, um, All Stars. And we was quite fortunate to qualify for the finals. As I say, the first year we actually came out into existence. You know, and um, it was myself and a few of my guys, you know, some of them is about 18, some is 20, 21, young fellas too. And um, the oldest one in the band probably was like 35. So, you know, we, we, we went out there, we put the best foot forward, we do our thing, we represent. And that was a great form of achievement for us, seeing that we was the youngest band in the competition. We came out there. We do our thing, and you know, we still, although we didn't come in the first top three, we were still satisfied that they acknowledge us and give us a chance to be heard amongst all the other greats. So, you know, it was a very big opportunity for me and my guys and a great achievement. This year, I don't know what's going on with the brass, but hopefully if they have a audition, we there again. But KJV how did you all band. meet? You say, you say it's your guys. So is it that uh, you all around the same area? Is it that you all in class together, school together, vibes and how? Because normally when you find a young well, person in, in the band, <laughs> you find a young person let in the band, it's because everybody else older and there's that one young person. But these young people, tell, tell me about that. Well, he, let me get a little in depth. My, um, one of my best friends, he's a brass player. He plays brass for... Um, Many other band apart from the fire service. So he came to me, he was like, Kerry, you had the band the brass come out, the, the registration date out. What are we going to do? I say, I don't know, I could take a thing in that, and I always like brass. He said, Well, all right, I have some young men that are the strain, some of them in cadets, some now in the army. I could pull them together and we could rehearse and come up with something nice. We could pull some background players, bass guitar player, trap set player, arranger and we get the shoe on the road. So I was like, well, yeah, why not? We are nothing to lose. And I met up with the guys. Some of the guys was from Faisabad. Um, some was from Point. The bass guitar player was from Tobago. No, sorry, the electric guitar player was from Tobago, and the bass guitar player was from Princess Town, where I reside. But my band is in Point, right, by my other grandmother. So went down there, and we got up. Everybody come together, and we had both almost two weeks to rehearse. The song that we did was A Feeling It. And um, we did the rehearsal, went, recorded the demo, sent it in for, for, um, for the call it again, for the audition. And then after that, boom, I get a phone call. We qualify, we inside. We had to come and pull numbers. So with that now, you know, we had to train harder again. <laughs> we had to change up certain arrangements. We had to make the song a little longer now because we inside the finals. So we look into get the, the winning song. So yeah. And then yeah. we went and we give it our best shot. And you can ask you can ask for more than that. Huh? And and one of the things I think I bias towards you a little bit because it's a salt man as well. But we continue the conversation when we return. <laughs> we're speaking with Kerry John. Stay with us. We come back with more. <laughs> Great parties, we make artists. Sing a soul cut away in a way, sarties. Have a nice time in the place, sarties. And if it's so I like lime, hold your face, sarties. We drink Welcome back. We are speaking with Kerry John. You just have just heard something from him called Different Between. It's a collaboration with Kerry John and uh, Asha Otto, if I remember correctly. What do you look for if you say, okay, well, I want to work with this person? 
And even there we heard, well, to me, I heard a little bit of the reggae in it as well. So what do you look for in this saying that I want to collaborate with this person? Well, I look for the person to bring the A game. And uh, the first thing I just listen is if the person really have it. You know, I don't like to work with someone that halfway and I whole way. You know, even though if you don't have a big, big name, you must have it. So first time I heard a shout of voice, I was blown away. Secondly, she's from Antigua, so it, it, it's a nice look when Trinidad and the sister island Antigua could collaborate, you know? And um, the image definitely, she have it, so everything was just working in, in, in the favor of the song and what the song related to. And then same way she fell in love with my voice and everything, so it was a wrap, everything was automatic. We, I did my part and the producer did his part. And boom, it's like magic. You know, this production with me and Asha Auto is really is what it is. It's different. Anyone who go and listen to this track gonna be blown away. You know, by the message, by the vocal ability, the content. It's just a full package. And I like that the, the fact that you talk about that package because sometimes you see there's there's a piece of music that yes, message, message, lyrics for days. And then sometimes there yeah. is a there's a there's a song where I like that vibes, but when you but when you hear the when you hear the lyrics, hmm, I might necessarily vibe as much with the lyrics as opposed to that melody and that bass line and just hook me. But it seems as though the things that uh -huh. you put out, there's that combination. How important is it that you consciously say, yes, I want to build a vibe, but at the same time, go away, uh, mommy. And even art form, which we're going to talk about in a, in a little bit, uh -huh. there is that mix of the vibe as well as the message. Yeah, because you see, I, I just do music not for now. I do music for ever. The artists that I that I call earlier on, the Bob Marley, the, all the artists that I call, they have music that you will hear in the next 20, next 30, next 100 years. And every time I hear it, it will sound brand new because of the message that in it, you know, it, it full of substance. The message could never die. The love in the music could never die. So I always say, you know what? I don't want to do disposable music that hot now and next year you can't hear it. I want to do music that every year you hear it stronger. You know, it's like alcohol on the shelf. The longer it stays, the harder I get. And this is what I want to do. I want to do music with substance, music that could touch people's feelings, could change people's emotions. I mean, it have times that you will sing the, the disposable music, so I will call it. It have time for that, but I reach a point in my career where that time gone, you know? That would have been things that I sing when I youthful. Now that, that I bigger and I have more sense, I have more knowledge in the business, it have younger youths looking up to me, you know what I mean? I have nephew and nieces. I want to sing music that they could also learn something from and not miss lead the public and mislead the youths and you check what I'm showing you. So balance is something that I all about maintaining in this industry. And with regards so to songs that, like uh, art form, you'll get a lot of that. <laughs> and talking about art form in terms of the fact that you say you have nieces and nephews, you have younger people coming up in the in the business and you want to make your mark in a positive way so people can say, yeah boy, that yeah. man's saying something. Uh, tell me a little bit about yeah. art form. Well, Art Form is what it is, is a song speaking about molding and grooming the younger generation coming up in the industry, you know? And um, if we do not do it now, who will do it for us? You check what I'm showing you. And I, I, like to be, I like to be real. I don't like to come and talk on TV and sugarcoat anything. I think if the bigger heads open up the thing a little more, the youths and soca music will reach where it's supposed to reach in a heartbeat. But the more we gatekeep the thing and we stifle the thing and it's just self, we can't reach no way in, in the speed that we should have reached. You know? you know what I mean? So I think we need to free up the thing a little more, create more avenues for younger artists coming up in the business. Me just talking for myself. I talking for young artists on a daily basis who call me and ask me for advice and ask me, Kerry John, how all it is doing this thing? Sometimes I don't even know how to answer them. I don't want to discourage them. But the bigger heads have to do something about it. 
Yes, we love all you. We love all your music, but all you reach a stage now, all you can do something for the youths. And if all you don't do it and it's only self right you, well then, what, who will pass on the battle? Who will teach you to hold a mic properly? Who will teach you how to center yourself on a stage? Who will teach you what is a, 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 um, a rider? What is, how to book yourself at, how to link yourself with bookings and certain things, if you check what I'm showing you. How to manage yourself, how to go about the business, how to market your music properly. This is the knowledge that the older heads have and they're not sharing it. I just try to share the little that I know. But it will be greater if they give the knowledge to the youths and free up the thing and open platforms like Scouting for Talents, Digicel Rising Star, Synergy Soca Star, and all these platforms that we had once, we need to bring it back and create an art form for the youths. But right now, the youths them lost in hope in soca music, and that is why you see plenty of them run to the Trini Bad because that is where they really get the hearing. They want to sing the bad man thing, you know? but they realize that the only forum that they're going and singing and people really hear them and take them on. They'll get a million views in one month. You know what I mean? But the same way they could get a million views with the Soka in one month if they get the opportunity and the chance to be heard. And I speak in from experience because I myself as an experienced artist in this business, this have a hard time. So we need to free up the thing. You understand? If you have a rhythm, call in a Kerry John, call in a Orlando Octave, call in a youth man where you see have a talent on the block that you know you could change your life and make him somebody and you could done pat your chest afterwards and say yes. I'm feeling proud to know that I'm responsible for this artist. Giving is its own reward in us. So it ain't nothing about people ungrateful and here doing nothing to help nobody again. That failure. Giving is its own reward. So as long as you help, and we do like what the Jamaicans just do, because when the Jamaicans come to Trinidad, they bring an artist once, nobody know him, and next thing you know, that same artist coming out next time to headline our show. We need to do that and stop stifling we culture and stifle we young talent in Trinidad and Tobago. Right? So I went in depth there, but I just needed to get that out. Well, the name of the show is In Depth, you know, so you're right, we write on brand. And actually, as opposed to right, saying so we, that I here, to get that out. you also have that in the, in the song itself, because I believe there's a line like, everywhere there's a hole we fill artists, how we can take soap yeah. to the world if we don't build the boys and the girls. Boys the, and the, girls, the, you understand? correct. So, but, correct. We wanna thank, but we want to thank you very much and <laughs> also let individuals know anyone watching this that they can see you they can see a performance as opposed to just youtube and the views they can check you out at kaiso showcase but kerry john we want to thank Correct. you very much for helping to share us a little bit on this musical journey and on behalf of the entire also, TTT news team give me a quick give me a quick give me a quick see my performing in the Mako and hush supper 5th february don't miss it also 11th of march kerry john and friends my birth night bash club olympus it's going to be a movie. Yes, uh, <laughs> KJV promotion. Definitely. And this uh, has four. been In Depth with me, DK Roster. Thank you so much for joining us. Great artists, we make artists. Sing a soul cut to wine away, sarties. Have a nice time in the place, sarties. And if it's sour like lime, hold your face, sarties. We drill artists, we don't kill artists. Out of the valley, so we hit artists.